here with another video about Asus and Corsair, their integration put together. Is it really great or is it just a nightmare? But I'm here to really make it easy for you guys. I know you just want to get your Asus RGBs working well with your Corsair RGBs. I'm going to show you exactly what steps you need to partake in order for it to work correctly. Also, it's going to mention some things about Armory Crate that you should be aware of, especially if you just built your PC. But right before I get to that, make sure if you find this content very useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button because we love to talk about PC and tech stuff. But let's get into it because I know you want to know more about Asus and Corsair and how you can get it working together. If you have Asus, you're probably noticing that you're having some issues. Maybe you already have Asus or a sync and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do for your IQ 4 to look work properly. So without further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you exactly how you can make these two work well together. So make sure you have Asus Armory Crate. It should look something like this. If you don't and if this does not come up, let's go into the browser and I can show you exactly where to download it. So when you go to Armory Crate's website, it should look something like this. I'll make sure to have it posted in the link down below. Now, before you get to install Armory Crate, say if you already had Asus Aura, you had their legacy software. In order to remove it, make click Windows X, go to apps and features, then make sure you just look it up right here. If you have Asus's legacy software that you need to remove, like Asus Aura, make sure you just click it and uninstall it before you proceed installing Armory Crate. Otherwise, they both will conflict with each other. Just hit download and go to your OS here and make sure you download this utility tool. This is June's latest update, June 4th, 2021. So you just click download. So for us, it's going to download straight to the desktop here. You could just double click it and then it should have a execution file inside. You're going to double click it and you're going to click yes. So after you double click this installer, you can install Armory Crate and Aura Creator and then you can click start. And I'll show you the very next step if you're having issues with your Asus Armory Crate and your Corsair, because sometimes Armory Crate isn't really the perfect software. Maybe it shuts off on you, or maybe it's giving you types of issues, but there is a way to resolve this problem if you really want the software to work well with your PC. But in order to do that, you i will but i will show you in the very upcoming steps of what to do next after this is installed so after it's installed you're gonna have to launch armory crate so after you launch it your aura sync devices should be right here you're going to go to aura effects and make sure you have this setting on this is very important for your iq4 to recognize your asus software now you can completely exit out of Armory Crate and you don't ever have to welcome it to your life again. But now if you're having issues with it opening, if it keeps shutting off on you, it's actually a really simple solution. So you're gonna have to go back to Asus website. All you have to do is go down to download and go to Windows 1064. The reason why you have to go to the website is because you can't just simply uninstall it from the PC. You have to uninstall all of Armory Crate software. You have to download this tool, which it will remove anything related to Armory Crate and Order Creator components. It will remove anything Armory Crate and Order Creator related components if you're having any type of these consistent issues. So just download that and you simply uninstall it. So it's no different from installing it. You just double click your zip file. And then when you, uh, you double click your zip file and once you're open it here, you can just run the uninstall tool. After you uninstall Asus Armory Crate, it should 
it prompt you to restart your PC. Make sure you restart your PC and then try to reinstall Armory Crate again afterwards. And then it shouldn't give you an issue after that. But of course, if you have any problems, just let me know in the comments down below. I can do my best to help you. But after you have Asus Armory Crate set and ready to go, now the next step you have to do is to get IQ. You want to go to the software up here and you want to download the software. Now they have version 3.38. I already made some content on this one here, but if you want to use a version four Corsair IQ version four, this is it right here. Now make sure you click download on this link here and it should download directly to your PC. So once your Corsair opens up its file, it's downloaded file, just click yes on administration rights. So what you have to do next is install Corsair IQ4 in your native language. As for me, I'm obviously gonna go with English, American English. We'll go next and just let the installer do its thing. It'll ask you if you want to install all this extra stuff here. I'll just go ahead next. Once Corsair IQ4 software is installed, you can click finish. So once IQ4 pops up, you'll notice that Asus's motherboard doesn't pop up right away. Just give it a moment. It should pop up soon. It so don't panic if you don't see it right away. Just give it time. And there it is. So now we can enter Asus's motherboard and you can simply adjust the different effects by going under lighting effects. And let's change this out to random colors so you can see exactly how it can look like. Now you, we can take a look at color shift and you can see it changed colors as well. And last but not least, let's give it a test with a, let's do strobing. We'll make it white and blue. Another thing I gotta mention is I have some of my favorite Corsair items down in the description box down below. And you can take a look at them because they are some of the best things you can add to your PC for RGBs. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoyed the big wonderful fan man, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more because we love to talk about PC and tech stuff. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, don't forget to add me right here on my Twitter. It's the same as my TikTok and my IG as well. Hey, fan man, guys, do you have any questions about Asus and IQ? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure don't be afraid to voice your opinion or a request because i hear you i'll do my best in order to make that happen